Okay, so I just want to do a follow-up to my last video that I did today, explaining the Airstreams. A little bit of conspiracy theory there, but I'm not really going to go into that. That's a, that's a wrong term to use. So this is the smoke from the fires in Canada. They're in Quebec. Now I'm going to outline a little bit here. Right there is Storm King Mountain. If you look in some of my older videos, I've got quite a few that I did on this area that show this. Hudson River in the center, Breakneck Mount Taurus over that side. That right out there is called Bannerman's Island. It used to be an arsenal owned by one man. So it, it was a little hard to tell in the prior video exactly how huge this is. Um, but this is a much, much better view of what's actually going on here. It's, it's been pretty rough. Uh, I'm not complaining because it's just smoke. We'll get through it here. But God, what people are going through up in Canada... And like I said in the prior video, this looks like wet smoke to me. And it smells like it's very acrid. Like when you throw water on a campfire. The smoke is uh, very, very strong. And it's got that already, you know, put out, burnt, wet. I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say. But it, it, it has a different kind of... Um, uh, consistency once it's gotten wet so I'm hoping that that's what that means that this is all from fires that they've already put out my goodness you know I can't remember anything like this in my entire life except for May 1980 when Mount St. Helens erupted and I can't remember how long it took for the sm the ash to reach this area but um, I remember that was the summer that never was. It didn't quite look like this, but we didn't really have any sun. And uh, I was in high school, and I don't really recall what happened to the agriculture, but I'm, <clears throat> I'm willing to bet if you did a quick search on it, you would find out that it was pretty devastating. But other than that, this is the only other time I can think of something of this intensity in my life. Uh, back in the 1970s, we had a fire up here on Storm King. Uh, the bald spot is still growing back from that long ago. Uh, that was back when people uh, cared about their community, and uh, they were willing to help to save it. And we were driving southbound off over Storm King, to go back to Fort Montgomery, and uh, what they basically did back then was they pulled every able-bodied available man that they could. Um, if they were driving with uh, another adult, like their wife, or somebody who could drive the kids home, uh, they, the guy volunteered. They basically stopped the car and said, hey, you know, could you help us out? Well, my dad was one of them. <clears throat> I can't remember how long he was gone for, but he was up there on that mountain fighting that fire with shovels and rakes and Indian tanks full of water. By the time he came back, oh, we were so glad to see him, and he was so glad to see us. He gave us a great big hug, and boy, did he stink. Boy, did he stink. So I think that was around early 70s, either somewhere in between 1970 and 1972. Um, I'd have to do a little research on it, but I, I know it was during that time, might have been 69. Something tells me it was the 70s, but yeah, that's the way we once were. We all pitched in. Now it's every man for his goddamn self. But whatever happened in Canada, I hope this is a sign that it's it's about to end. They say in the news that this should only go on for another couple of days. It's like, come on, please. That many fires burning up there? Well over 200? I think it's going to take a little bit longer. But uh, let me see if I can find the sun. It's funny, the sun has looked like 
Oh, it's starting to set, so you can't really see it, but you can see those are actual clouds up there. You see the blush color on there, a little bit of white. Those are actual clouds, and you can see a tiny bit of blue sky up there, but the sun should be somewhere down around here. But it has looked like an orange light bulb the last couple of days. So yeah, this is this is what we're looking at. I just wanted to give you a really good, really good idea of what's going on here. So again, you know, prayers to all involved. God bless the firefighters and all the people who had to be evacuated. And hopefully there were no casualties. I haven't heard anything yet. If you have, leave it in the comments. And uh, all right, folks, have a good night. Bye-bye.